This is Kid Icarus, or Hikari Shinwa Parutina no Kagami. As the title was known in Japan, which translates to uh, Myth of Light, the Mirror of Palutina. It was released in 1986 in Japan and 1987 in the United States and Europe. Okay, Kid Icarus is something I like to call a mixed genre in the video game world because it doesn't really settle in one clear genre very nicely. It has elements, as you can see by the map screen, the select screen menu, um, that are very uh, RPG-ish. And it, the game plays a little bit like an RPG, but it also plays a lot like a platformer. So I think it's—I uh, like to think of it as a nice hybrid between uh, RPG and platformer, at least on the early 8-bit systems. As far as that went, you know, this is about as good of a a uh, blend of the two as you can get. It's a very fun game to play, very involved game. Uh, a little light on the RPG side of things. There aren't a ton of items you can get; only a, a small handful actually, and. Uh, but there is like an in-game currency which is hearts and uh, many different aspects of the game that are uh, nice to play in an RPG kind of fashion uh, but most of the action is in the uh, platformer arena these uh, flying noses with mustaches and eyes used to give me nightmares as a, uh, as a, as a young adult anyhow let me talk about the uh, gameplay here and I've already said it's uh, kind of a hybrid between a platformer and a uh, an RPG. Uh, you control um, that little winged angel guy, and his name is Pit. And it's kind of a strange name, but you know, I'm not knocking it. Anyhow, you control Pit, and um, the whole goal of the game is to... Uh, it's got this rather involved backstory that involves some Greek mythology... Um, and Medusa is the main enemy in this game. And, uh, uh, Palutina, I believe, is the name of the other, um, the other goddess of good stuff or something. And Medusa is obviously the, uh, goddess of the evil people. Anyhow, um, skipping this whole rather involved backstory with Greek mythology. Um, basically, Medusa inhabited um, Angel World, which is where you are, or something along those lines, uh, with monsters, evil monsters, and uh, your goal is to rid the land of the evil monsters and defeat Medusa. Now, this game is a difficult game. It was when it first came out, and it still is. And, and you know what? I don't even want to say difficult. I want to say this game was f***ing hard. Um, it's very easy to die in this game. On the platformer parts, if um, there is uh, you, you move yourself up enough that there's nothing, you know, no ledge to or platform to stand on at the bottom of the screen, and you fall off the bottom of the screen, uh, it doesn't scroll down. You just die. And you have a life bar which starts out pretty small. Um, you can see it up in the top left. I'm almost dead. Uh, and, and as you take damage from enemies, uh, it shrinks your life bar, and you, and you eventually die that way also. Now, if you if you look at this, I'm on stage one two right now. It's one dash two, and it's um, already we're seeing uh, introductions of uh, icy platforms which was usually reserved in platformers for uh, much more advanced levels. Harder levels in the game, you know, closer towards the end you'd see maybe some ice worlds. But um, this is right in right in the beginning. Level 1, 2 goes right to ice world, which um, significantly uh, increases the difficulty of the platformer part. Which is, it must be some kind of record for that, I don't know. So if you're playing Kid Icarus in North America, or Europe, or South America, or anywhere where they don't have the Famicom disk system, uh, this game used a password as a, a means of continuing the game at a later point 
you, you could stop playing after you died, and it would give you uh, give you a password, and you can put that password in right in the beginning on the password screen, and pick up the game roughly where you left off. Um, it didn't, you know, uh, start you off right where you died. It started you off on the last stage you were on at the beginning of the stage, but it kept you with all your um, all your uh, equipment and what have you, accumulated items. But, if you were playing this game in Japan, or on the Famicom Disk System, which was a Nintendo floppy disk drive for the Famicom, uh, this game had a save feature, and you put your name in, like, uh, like a modern game, and, uh, and save it right on the disk. And I remember uh, reading in magazines as a kid um, about the differences of the Japanese Famicom versus the North American NES. And uh, I had seen pictures of and heard about and read articles about the Famicom Disk System. And, ha and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. It was a, it's a really neat concept. And uh, I was just waiting in anticipation for this thing to be released in North America. And there was rumors of it being released in North America down the road. And it just never came. It never made its way over to uh, this side of the world. And uh, which is rather sad. It would have been a really neat... Uh, neat, a neat peripheral for Nintendo to put out for the NES, but sadly, it never made it. And that also reminds me that uh, in today's modern times, uh, there isn't much of a time difference between uh, release dates um, in different continents and in different countries. Uh, when a game's released, it's uh, maybe a maybe a week or so difference usually, is, I think is the average, between a, a North American release and a Japanese release and a European release. Um, but back in the day, like in 1986, 1987, when this game was released, uh, it was there were significant delays. There was delays of sometimes a year, sometimes more. Sometimes they never made it past that delay. It got del it got hung up for whatever reason and just never was released. And th and that happened all the time. It was um, there was a significant wait between. Uh, uh, so uh, most video games were, re were released in Japan first, and um, and then to North America, and then to Europe in that order. Um, but there was a significant delay. I mean, six months was a short delay uh, when when you know this game was out uh, between the Japanese release and the rest of the world seeing the game. And that's that just doesn't happen anymore. Uh, thank God. Now, what you're looking at is the um, password input screen, and uh, they cleverly named it Enter Sacred Words, which is kind of a, a play on the Greek mythology kind of theme. It's things are the words and the text in this game are kind of written to play on that. And uh, the password enter screen was also the place where you put in a cheat code if a game had it on uh, password type games, usually. And uh, I happen to remember this one. I didn't even have to look it up on the internet from back in the day, and that's uh, Icarus Fights Medusa Angels, and that puts you right on the um, uh, the stage before the last um, in the game with uh, unlimited everything and all kinds of junk. You're fully powered up. You're a fully powered up pit and, you know, ready to kick some ass. And the stages alternated a bit. There was a couple of platforming stages, and at the end of the platforming stages was a fortress, which, um, switched into this type of mode from a platformer to uh, more of an RPG kind of um, map type type uh, game with uh, map screens uh, that were all linked together in some complex convoluted way to try and get you to there you can see I, I picked up the map but I don't have a pencil you need a pencil to mark off where you've been and uh, things like that um, which I'll pick up later um, but yeah, so it, this is more the, of the RPG elements of the of the game, and uh, there were, um, geez, four stages I believe. Um, but each stage, except for the last one, had um, had four sub stages to them. And uh, this this is something I hated when I played the game uh, when it first came out was getting hit with that by the eggplant wizard, and you had to find the hospital to turn you back from an eggplant back to pit. Which was a real pain in the ass, because uh, getting hit didn't, uh, you know, by the eggplant didn't do too much damage, except for turned you into an eggplant, and you can't shoot. 
which kind of sucks. So you're, you're kind of stuck until you find the hospital. Anyhow, Kid Icarus, top-notch game. Go pick it up. I'm Dami from Classic Games Revisited. Until next time.